Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Emily. I like to make thrift videos, I do macrame, and I love a good DIY project. I have been asked so many times by you guys if I would do a home tour, so I am finally making it happen today. Of course, I chose had to choose between cleaning my house or getting ready, so I, <laughs> I did not get ready today because can't win them all you guys before I fully jump on into everything I wanted to say that I will try and link everything below if you can buy it online but as you guys know I'm a huge thrifter lots of things are thrifted I probably won't go into like crazy crazy detail about every item because we'd be here all day but I'll try my best to give you guys the best sort of overview of where everything's from and also just mostly I think I just want to show you guys like the layout of the home I should add that we rent we live in a rented basement suite in BC Canada that's a really common thing here I don't know if that's common in certain parts of the states I know it wasn't where I used to live but it's very normal here so we rent a basement suite and yeah I'm not gonna waste any more time let me get started So we head down our stairs and we have a closet that we have our shoes in. There's the water heater and this is our front door. Right when you walk into the front door, this is what you see in front. It is this way to the bathroom and then this is double doors right to my son's room. And this is, let's see if I can show you from this angle. So front door and then that is my son's room right there so we do have his light fully blocked off which is definitely not cute for pictures or anything but you know this is just real life I want his room really dark because he sleeps better that way so yeah we always have this blackout curtain off of Amazon in his window again it's not really cute we also just recently rearranged his room because we moved him to a toddler bed and I wanted, we wanted the rug under him. So yeah, it's just functionality right now. We have this little lion head that I DIY'd. I'll link that down below. These are Ikea sheets and yeah, this dresser I found at a, at a dump where they had a take it or leave it section. So we kind of did a little makeover on this a few years ago. Let's see what else we have here. We just have this basket that I added some legs to. Cute little chair I got thrifting. This shelf I got from Walmart and thrifted baskets, all of them. <laughs> yeah, and some toys. This was a macrame that I made, an Ikea light. This is his little space heater slash fan. And then this closet we use for coats and there's games and DVDs. It's really messy. I have my sewing machine in there. It's kind of our everything closet, so I'm not gonna open it. This rug is from Target and this one is from Ikea. And this little basket I got from Winners has all of his stuffed animals. And just an Ikea little moose that I actually think I'm gonna sell on our Facebook marketplace because he never uses it. But yeah, this is my son's room. On to the next. Here is the front door. Here is my hallway. I just have this little wreath that I can't wait to decorate for Christmas. I feel like this is just kind of falling apart with these dried leaves. But I have, I store my macrame right here because I don't really have a spot for it. So I just store it in the hallway right there. At the end of the hall, we have a linen closet. We also store a bunch of books in here and it also has the electrical paneling so that's in there and then is our bedroom it's quite a small room I'll give you guys 360 there's my closet going around this is my husband's closet our bed and just this little corner that's the whole room. So I can quickly go over some things. This frame is from Michaels and the picture in it is from a website where you can get free pictures called unsplash.com. 
I got this frame thrifting, this little figurine here. This is from a trip to Africa that I took. Thrifted. This was a macrame plant hanger that I made. I also made this one. These Killam pillows are from an Etsy shop called Orkin. I can link it down below. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. Just have some hats hanging, my little ukulele. And what else in here? This was one of the, this is actually the second macrame I ever made. I do have a tutorial for how to make this. I'll link it below. And we have my little nightstand right here. And I also have, this was a DIY that I did. The only thing different is that I switched out the little handle, but also again, I can link my little DIY below. Bed frame is from Ikea. We just have these little twinkle lights attached to it as our lamp. My duvet cover is from Urban Outfitters, but we're actually needing a new one. It just needs to be switched out, so I just threw this knit blanket on it for now. Do a shop from over here. So you guys can see. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this this is a little jute rug from IKEA and I layered it with this tapestry that I found thrifting. You guys may have noticed this blanket right here and that is actually because I have my piano under my bed and when I want to play it, I just drag it out and I plug it in and then I just play sitting on the ground. But we didn't have a good spot for a full piano so it lives under my bed. Then here is my bathroom. This closet is the laundry. So this is our laundry right here. And there's a little area where we have a vacuum and some shelves. We have a tub and a shower. There's not too much to see. <laughs> uh, we've had this shower curtain since we were married. I really want to get a new one, but you know, if it works, it works. And it's from Target. I have this little, this frame. I actually took this picture out of a book and just framed it. I have this macrame above the toilet that I made. We have our sink and these big drawers and then laundry basket and this big mirror. This is the whole bathroom. So we have my son's room and then this sort of entryway Right here, I have this macrame that I did not make. I bought it at Winners before I ever started making macrame. This is a little basket that we have all of Olin's shoes in, and that is from Walmart. And then, I have said this before, but all of the shelves in our house, like this, our landlord put them in, so you can't buy them anywhere. People always ask where I got these shelves from. They're just a part of the home. I don't know if it's reclaimed wood or what it is, but yes, it's a part of the home. So I have this little stool down here. So we usually sit here and get our shoes on. This is already full of scarves and hats for when we go out. Just a little DIY chalkboard I made. I already have Christmas decorations going up. That's a little Santa I just recently found. Yeah, some junk mail, key basket. Yeah, this is kind of the confusing part. We have kind of two hallways that meet, I guess. So this hallway leads to our kitchen and this is our living room. So you guys know I did this Ikea DIY. I can link that down below. This is from Urban Outfitters. And continuing on. We have this macrame, I actually thrifted this. I think it's vintage and I love it. And baskets, this is Ikea, this is Ikea. And then this is a part, so I don't usually kind of show this angle, but here you guys can see we have my fireplace and our dining table. And then this area is where we have our TV. So we just put this basket, more toys for Olin. This chair is from Kijiji. And actually the pillows, this is H&M. Home Sense, H&M, Home Sense. And I, this couch was Facebook Marketplace. So, and then thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. This was given to us. I don't know, somebody 
Stefan worked somewhere once and they gave that to him at a job. I don't know, but yeah. So we have this big window above the couch. It's a beautiful fall day. This basket is from H&M. And this is our little like dining room area, if that makes sense. There's the house. This is our dining room. We usually keep the table almost up against the wall unless people are here just for space, but we do have a bench back there. So when people come over, we just pull it out, but otherwise, I know it's not as cute, but we just keep it pretty close to the wall. High chair is from Ikea. These chairs we got from Superstore. They were crazy on sale. And let's see, we have microwave, and cute little family photos that I need to update. Let's, I'll finish this area and then I'll show you guys the kitchen. This is my little gallery wall and I'm still needing to change something out. I need like a big painting or something. So I don't know, it always looks really small but it actually takes up a good chunk of the wall. I feel like you can see a little better there. Recently, this is the newest addition, is Olin's Ikea kitchen, and we picked up this little rug from HomeSense just so he had something to kind of play on. And yeah, his cute little Ikea kitchen. This lamp is Ikea as well. Some thrifted baskets. This is our very small kitchen. This rug is from Kijiji. It's a vintage Iranian rug that I bought. And this is where our junk goes. Always like the really not cute spot of the kitchen. But we have this little basket and then this is my cute little shelf that the shelves came with the place. So I just styled them up. Our counters. I don't know what much there is to say. When you walk down this way, there's this open shelving that is never cute and never styled. <laughs> Look, I have random. But yeah, Oli's plates go here, all of his like snacks that he can just grab. Yeah, does that make sense? So if I do a 360, this is the garbage and our recycling bin. And then we're back to the front where Olin's shoes are and yeah. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's home tour. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. As always, you guys can subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.